Hello, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is part two of making a 3D photo for Facebook. In the first part, I showed you how to do a simple 3D birds flying in the sky. But in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do a landscape, and a landscape works a little bit differently. But instead of just black, white, and gray pieces in the photo, you need to use a gradient. So let's get started. So here we have a photo from Stefan. I have the link below. And what I'll do is I will select this guy and the rock that he's sitting on. Just like in the last tutorial, I'm not going to do a great selection here. Uh, you know how to do selections by now. You've watched many tutorials on that. And I did do a cleaner selection to show you afterwards, but I'll do it very quickly just to give you an idea of what I've been doing. Let's see his arm and a little bit of his leg right here. And I think we got a little too much right there. There you go. And maybe a little bit more hair. And that'll do for now. So just like in the first one, we've got a new layer, and white is the closest to us. So what we do is we fill that layer with white. So let's select a white color and fill. And then we deselect. Now the second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work a little bit backwards on this one. We're going to make another layer on top of the background. And this time, we're going to fill it with a gradient from black to white. So let's go to the gradient fill and go from the top to the bottom. Now remember, white is closer to you and black is further. So this bottom one, click on and make it white. And the top one, click on and make it black. Because it is a landscape, the landscape has to go from far away, which is black, to close, which is white. So it'll give you that 3D effect on it. All right, so we'll hide that right now. And then this rock right here, I think we'll move in front a little bit. So let's select this rock. Let's go back to the main. And in fact, we'll hide him too. And we'll select this rock right here. We don't want all the blue. We want this rock. We'll get rid of them later. Let's see. And I know I'm going over onto the guy. I'll fix that in a minute. Let's use Alt and just get that back mountain off of here. Like that. And that's close enough. And so for now, not for now, we're just going to fill it with a gray. So we'll just, we're going to change that gray color in a minute. But let's first just give it any gray. And, and then that's it. And then we'll fill it like that. Okay. So if we select the boy, wait, let's deselect first. Okay. If we go to the boy, and the white layer, and we do Control or Command click, it shows his selection, and then we want to get rid of anything under the boy from this first mountain. So then what we'll do is we'll take that, and we'll do a Control or Command X. We're just going to cut out the difference. So now, if you look without the boy, it's a perfect cut for that mountain. So now here's the, here's the catch. Let's turn, let's deselect everything. Let's turn on the gradient again. Right about here where the bottom of this mountain is, this color right here is what we're looking for in the gradient. So let's turn this on. And you see this right here? We want this color. So what we'll do is 
move this mountain above. There it is. So we move the mountain above, and we want the bottom of the mountain to be this color around here. So what we'll do is we'll select that mountain again, and we'll go to the paint tool. We want this color gray. There we go. So that's the lighter gray, and then we'll fill the mountain with the lighter gray. So it's close to this color. And now comes the fun part, just like before. We have the three colors, and now this one's a gradient. And the gradient's very important when you're doing a landscape, because it gives you a sense of distance. So I've, I've really made a better selection So right here in the above group. So I'm deleting these. And I'll show you what I have as my selection. So there's my selection, and then I'm going, and so, and here's the background. So let's take the background and say File, Export, and we'll call it JPEG, high quality, and I will call it Boy on Mountain. How's that? Boy on Mountain. Save. And then I'll turn that off and put the, this layer on, and I'll do File, Export, Export, and I'll say Boy on Mountain. And remember what I showed you on the first tutorial on 3D Facebook. It must have underscore D-E-P-T-H and be the same name as the original. So we save that. And now comes the fun part. We go to Facebook. Let me bring that up. And we want a photo. We want to upload a photo on Facebook. And we're going to go to the tutorial I just did. And we must select both Boy on Mountain and Boy on Mountain underscore depth. And open. And then Facebook will do its thing. Give it a minute. And look at that. Now you not only have the boy in the front on the rock, this rock a little further, but notice because we did a gradient, now you can go up and down and you see distance. So now you know how to do a landscape 3D photo for Facebook. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please click subscribe and like. Thank you very much.